Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we fought Commander Kamado to receive one of the missing plates we were looking for. And in today's episode, I plan on getting the Plate of the Lakes. But in between episodes, I went out to catch some Pokemon. And I found Mai just sitting outside our camp here. So I wanted to go talk to her. So we meet again. I've been hearing plenty about your impressive exploits. But of course I've always known you would impress us ever since you dealt with that alpha cricket tune for me. I've had my hands full as well. I have no idea why, but Munchlax keeps trying to run off in different directions. Huh, that's odd. Munchlax, where are you off to now? Does it want to play tag? I'm not sure what he's so focused on, but he just up and disappears without warning. Keeping track of him has been quite the task. I can tell. Mun. Oh, our arc phone's going off. What is much like doing? What was that just now? It almost seemed to be responding to Munchlax. Your arc phone is reacting to Munchlax and displaying his destination. Hmm, it's pointing to Romanus Island. My my, isn't this exciting? I wonder if we're about to see another strange phenomena sweep across his sui. Yes, this is rather odd. Or perhaps I'm reading too much into things. Can I ask you to visit Romanus Island to try to set... Shed some light on this new mystery? Uh, sure. We'll head over there. Uh, I guess we can take a quick look after we... I guess we could go take a quick look right now. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, so here we are at the Romanus Island. I guess we're supposed to check things out here. The only thing I see so far is Infernape. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do, but let's try to catch him. I actually already caught one, but there's no harm in getting another one. Let's get him with a Aqua Tail. Uh, oh, he actually avoided that. Uh, this won't be too good. Let's try Aqua Tail again. Oh, um... Good job, Floatzel. I didn't mean for that to happen, but it did. So, I guess we just search around. Because all I was told was to come to the island. Oh, we got old verse 17. Let's see what it says. Once there was a god of field, and once there was a god of spring. Upon Hisui's winds it wheeled, brought life to every glowing thing. Where go you when you are not here? Asked I one day the god of spring. No answer would it give me clear, but still did I have an inkling. There is no great dark truth untold. It simply does not like the cold. Okay, that was pretty interesting. Well, I guess there might be something here. 
This seems to be the place Mize Much Lax was interested in. Uh, oh, it's a bunch of Zora. I've never seen a horde of them together like that. Better report back to Maya about the Zora. Can I catch him? Oh, wait. I can actually catch him. Uh, let me fly away real quick. Or... Let's try and fight him. Because this one's just gonna chase us. And because I don't want to damage him, I'll just throw an Ultra Ball at him. Hopefully it'll catch him. Now, if I can get the other three, I can have a whole pack of them. Though, I might have to use a distraction. So, let's throw a cherry berry. Okay, so there's one. There's two, and... That one's too angry to be caught. So let's go ahead and try and fight him. And then we can pretty much go back to Mai and see what she has to say about this very odd encounter. So yeah, let's go ahead and head back to Mai now. Hello Mai, we're back to report what we found. Done with your investigation, please tell me what you found. There was a bunch of Zora. Yeah, a pack of Pokemon. That hardly tells me anything. What kind of Pokemon did you see then? They were Zora. The spiteful fox Zora. Well, you came across a rare Pokemon. I've seen them in the Icelands before, but not here. So, was that it, Muchlax? You were curious about the Zora. Oh, there's too much Lax. Um, they're identical. Well, this is unexpected. It seems there are too much Lax now. But naturally, I will never fail to recognize my own Muchlax. It's you, right? Not the much likes next to me, the other one. Oh, that was Zora. She was wrong about her own Pokemon? I think he's sad about that. A moment of silence. So it was Zora. How odd for it to appear in the Fieldlands. I only hope that it isn't an omen of something unpleasant yet to come. As a precaution, it might be best for you to report this to your captain. Yes, yes, we'll report it to the captain eventually. But for now, let's go catch us a legendary Pokemon. And here we are, back at Miss Spirit's cave. I hope Miss Spirit is actually still here. So, we haven't been here since we got put on trial by them. And luckily, Miss Spirit is here. And I can go ahead and challenge them right away. I guess I'll go ahead and use Typlosion for this. Miss Spirit shouldn't be too hard to catch, right? Let's try an Agile Style Infernal Parade. Because my goal is not to defeat him, but to catch him. So I already saved the game just in case it faints for whatever reason. So I think one more good hit, and we should be able to catch him. Assuming he doesn't recover. 
So let's Infernal Parade one more time. And hopefully we can catch him now. Oh, no, nope, it wants to recover. Maybe if we can catch him when he's not recovering, we'll be able to catch him. That's if he doesn't faint. Uh, oh no, Typhlosion. I was not paying attention to his HP. I was very focused on Miss Spirit. Let me bring Dialga out. Just as a precaution while I try to catch him. We'll go ahead and start throwing some Ultra Balls. Hopefully, uh, Miss Spirit won't run away. And there we go, we got Miss Spirit. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. There are two more lake Pokemon left to be caught. Now we are in the icy land of the Alabaster Iceland. So that way we can go ahead and catch Yuxi. I think it's pronounced Yuxi, but I'm not too sure. Hopefully he's not as difficult to catch. Because Miss Spirit was quite easy to catch. I meant to throw out Typhlosion, but I guess I hit him in the head with the Ultra Ball. So, Typhlosion can't take a lot of their attacks, but his ghost typing makes him quite effective here. I just hope he can survive long enough to get through this. Hopefully he doesn't fall asleep, because Yuxi likes to put everyone to sleep. Oh no, Typhlosion. That's not good. Let me throw in Lucario, just because I know he's strong. But let's try to throw an Ultra Ball, just to see what happens. Um, okay, I guess that was pretty easy. I wasn't expecting Yuxi to be that cooperative. There is one more lake Pokemon to be caught, and that would be Azelf. So I guess let's head to the lake where he's at and catch him. And finally, we have our favorite of the three lake trio Pokemon, Azelf, in the Crimson Marylands. Hopefully he doesn't play tag with us again. There he is, our favorite blue friend. Let's go ahead and try to catch him. Hopefully Typhlosion doesn't go down this time. It looks like he was able to hang in there just a little bit. But I want to try a strong style Infernal Parade. Just to see if Azelf can handle it. Oh my. Um, I hope the burn doesn't get rid of him. I don't know what happens if we beat him. You must catch the Pokemon to battle once more. Uh, okay, so it looks like we actually get a rematch with them. I was not expecting that. Let me try to hide over here. Or not. But I do want to heal up Typlosion. That was very interesting to see what happened. I thought he would run away like the other games, but he stayed around to fight. So let's go ahead and try a round two of this. All you gotta do is hang in there, Typlosion. And hit him with a strong style Infernal Parade again. 
please don't faint. Oh no, he's burned again. Um, Asaf is very difficult to deal with. Well, I wouldn't say difficult, but it's difficult for Typlosion. He should be super easy to catch now, though. Let's see if he'll actually let us. I don't see why he wouldn't. After all, we did save the world with him. See, I knew he wanted to join us. So now that we have the third lake Pokemon, we have the Draco plate from him. Which means we're one plate closer to collecting them all, I hope. Based on Kagata Sense, it seems there might be three more plates left for you to find. So based on that information, I think we should head back to the Jubilife Village. And now that we are back in Jubilife, now we can talk to Captain Selene. Hopefully, Selene will be happy to hear of all the good news that we have. A gathering of Zora in a place other than their natural habitat. Could this also have been caused by the space-time rift? I suppose we don't know enough yet to say for certain. At any rate, thank you for your report. Ah uh, yes, we completed that quest from Mai. And it sounds like Muchlax is back. Shadow, things are growing worse. After we parted, Muchlax reacted to several different locations, and there was a mass outbreak at each of them. Simultaneously in multiple locations? These must be somehow different from the mass outbreaks we know. We don't... Why don't we call this new phenomenon the massive mass outbreak? Your new orders are to investigate this massive mass outbreak. Is this a new quest? It sounds like I can count on you to keep investigating. Well then, I will be waiting for you by the gate. Oh, it looks like there is more to that quest. But well, let's talk to Celine one more time. But this time it is to show our Pokedex. Just a quick look, of course. And with that, we are now... I think that's rank 7. Yes, that is rank 7 of being a Surrey Corpse member. Which gives us Gigaton Balls. And all Pokemon will pretty much obey us. And yeah, I guess that's all she has. It looks like the professor has a new quest for us. At home under the eaves. It seems a Chimino has made itself home under the eaves of one of the village houses. Speak with Ida, an elderly resident of Jubilee, to find out more on the matter. Uh, maybe some other time. But let's go see if Mai is actually at the front gate. I suppose I should tell you exactly what I witnessed first. Much like suddenly took off running into a rainstorm. I tried to stop him, lest he got wet. But then I saw those mass outbreaks appearing all over. Perhaps it was the massive outbreak that Muchlax was so curious about. If that's the case, Muchlax might be able to help us investigate this phenomena. I'll also work with you as I'm concerned about Muchlax. That sounds like a very smart Muchlax. We can begin our investigation as soon as you're prepared. Are you ready to go now? Um, sure, we could do one more quest. Excellent, let's head off to the Heights Camp. 
Okay, so what's going on at the Heights camp? We haven't seen anything out of the ordinary yet, nor has much Lex reacted to anything. Shall we wait for a while to see whether something happens? Uh, sure. We can wait for a little while. And there's the rain. It's raining, and it looks like it's going to get worse. Mun. Are you worried about the rainstorm much, Lex? We still don't know what's causing these mysterious massive outbreaks. How do we find one? Perhaps that fancy map of yours can show us something? That's a good idea. Oh wow, it is actually showing us a bunch of random outbreak spots. Uh, do I have to investigate all of them? Okay, it looks like they'll randomly appear from time to time. And it looks like we have the choice of either catching or making them battle. It seems you have an idea where to look for some outbreaks now. Why not check out a few, seeing at least three ought to give us some idea what's going on. Uh, sure. I guess we're supposed to investigate three of them. So we'll just start with coming to this one. I wonder what kind of outbreak it's going to be. Hopefully it's a new Pokemon we haven't caught before. Oh, it looks like it's the Cricketoon. Oh. I think they spotted us. We should be safe. Oh look, Gyarados. Let's try to catch one or two more. Oh. Uh, they keep appearing here. Should we just keep catching them? I don't see any more after this one. Oh look, there is one more. Or two more. I don't know if this completes it, but I think we should probably move on now. And while this Gyarados is flying, I want to take advantage of this moment to try and catch him. Using wing balls is pretty easy to catch him. As long as you get him in the right spot. But there we go, we have another Gyarados and... Now let's head off to the next location, which is not too far, thankfully. Okay, so it looks like these ones are zoo bats. And we'll go ahead and catch them. Uh, I think there's only two left. Oh, I stood corrected. There's still a few more. Let's go ahead and battle this one. Though they are pretty weak, we can still take them out pretty quick. It's just easier to catch them. But I think after a couple more battles with these guys, we should be able to complete the quest. Now then, I think that's the last one. So, let's try to like hide from him. I think we're hiding. Nope. So if we fly upwards, I think we could just go to the last one. Um, this one's shining. What's going on over here? 
I need to go check this out again. Oh, so that's what the outbreak is. I actually do have to catch them all until they're gone. So let me see if there's any zoo bats. There's one over here. And unfortunately he got angry with us. I'm trying to catch him so I don't waste too much time fighting him. So let's just catch him and uh, hope for the best. Unfortunately, he's being very stubborn. Okay, he wants to fight, so let's get rid of him. And now we have only one more outbreak. And oh no. The gold bats are starting to show up. I don't like that. Especially since one of them was an alpha. Ah, there they are. And it looks like Gyarados came back too. Um, I have no idea what that one was doing, but I don't like it. So, I think we just have a few more to catch. I have no idea what that was about. But, I think if we just move very slow... That we'll be able to, like, catch them. I think he's our last one. Oh wait, I heard the other one got out. And now that should be the last one. Or not. I guess they actually do have to be different every time. So let's go to this one over here. Okay, so by the time I try to get to another location, all of the outbreaks kind of disappeared. So I'm going to have to wait until they come back. So in the meantime, I'm going to go talk to Troy in the village. Okay, so we are at the Galaxy Headquarters to talk to this guy again. Because I think I have what he wants now. Yes, he wants crunchy salt. And we do have that. And we'll go ahead and give it to him. Just because we want to upgrade the shop. And it looks like he's very happy to use it to make some type of lure. But I'm pretty much going to skip over all of his dialogue. Just because I know how him and Choi are. But now we can go tell Choi the good news and hopefully that will be the end of things for his little quest. If not, we'll have to go hunt for more ingredients. Now then, Troy is just right here. We've got new goods in stock thanks to you, but you seem troubled. Is something the matter? Oh no, I think I skipped some dialogue that I wasn't supposed to skip. Apparently, Troy stole treasure. Ah, he said I took his treasure, did he? That's one way to put it, but the story's not so simple. Please believe me for now, if that's nothing to you. Ought to worry about. Given what a fine customer you are, I imagine I'll end up giving you a full story at some point. In any case, we've got some excellent new items on the shelves. Do buy some. I suddenly don't trust him now. But it looks like he added a couple more items. Though I still don't trust him. I feel like there's another quest involving him. 
but I'm just going to leave things there. We went ahead and helped Mai with her massive outbreak quest. Uh, I think I'm going to see if there's another outbreak real quick. I do not see any more massive outbreaks. But I am getting sent back to the Fieldlands camp. So I am back at the Heights camp. I'm going to talk to Mai real quick. It seems the massive mass outbreak you were investigating has dissipated. We may as well return to Jubilee Village and wait for another massive outbreak to, well, break out. So I guess I'll have to run back and forth until it shows up. Okay, so it seems like the massive outbreaks have completely stopped. I don't know what to do to trigger them. But I think that will be all for this episode. We went to complete Choi's quest line. I hope it's completely finished. We caught the three lake Pokemon. And then we went ahead and helped Mai out with the mass outbreak situation. I will be trying to complete that quest in between episodes. While I'm also researching Pokemon. Because we are still a long way from completing our Pokedex. And I want to be sure to evolve and research as many Pokemon as I can. And even catch all of the unknown. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Bye!